The Genonia shell is one of the most rare and prized seashells you can find in Southwest Florida. Today we're going to talk about this gorgeous trophy shell, how to find them, and where the animal lives. Stay tuned for Treasure Seekers Virtual Adventures episode on the Genonia. Let's get started. While the Genonia shell is a prized trophy in Florida, did you know that it's actually the state shell of Alabama? Yeah, you can technically find a Genonia on any of the Gulf shorelines. There's even a cousin species that can be found in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. So let's talk about this shell. If you've never seen a Genonia before, it's about a three to four inch long gastropod. It's usually a creamy white background and then it has these beautiful brown or black spots on it. Sometimes they look even more orange if they're a lighter shade. Now, the live animal actually lives at a really deep depth of water, far off of the Gulf Coast of Florida. So that's what makes this shell so precious and rare. It doesn't wash up very often. Most of the time when they're found in perfect condition, it's by trawlers or deep sea fishermen who scrape them up off the bottom. Now, the live animal itself, let's talk about that for a second. Many people will never get a chance to see the live Genonia. However, the Sanibel Island Shell Museum, it's called the Bailey Matthews National Shell Museum, they actually have two live specimens on display in their aquarium. And they were collected in 2018. In 2019, they were actually able to observe and document the behavior of the animal as it stunned its prey. It's really cool. The animal's foot is a black and yellow spotted pattern and has a really cute face with adorable little tentacles and eye stalks. And it's believed that it's finding its food by burying its foot and smelling around under the sand. And they even discovered that its favorite food is the lettered olive. Now, we'll post a link in the description to the video where you can observe this wonderful process that we possibly are the first people to ever see. Researchers have discovered a few things about this animal since it's been in its captivity. First, they have noticed that it doesn't have an operculum like many other marine mollusks. Now, if you're new to shelling, you probably don't know what an operculum is. An operculum is the little shield that's attached to the foot of the mollusk, and when the mollusk pulls back inside its shell, it uses it as a protection system to avoid getting eaten by other predators. Now, that obviously doesn't work all the time because we find the shells of these mollusks everywhere. Sometimes we'll even find loose operculums. It's especially rare to find the operculum that belongs to the shell with it when you find it, if it's dead. Now, Another thing that we've learned about the Genonias is that they're carnivores. Like I said, their favorite food is lettered olives, and they're very picky. They don't eat anything that's dead. They like them alive. They like them fresh. Another thing is that, well, we don't really know how they reproduce. Unfortunately, the two specimens they were able to collect are both males, and they haven't been able to observe the reproductive process or what the egg casings look like. We don't know a lot about that. Now, we have also learned that the foot is constantly buried in the sandy substrate. They've put them in tanks to try to observe them on a solid glass bottom, but they don't seem to like that very much. And they'll talk about that more in the video. Now, what do you do if you find one? Well, in Sanibel Island, they'll actually put you in the newspaper if you find a Genonia shell. It's a big deal. It's considered once in a lifetime to find it. In 10,000 Islands, on a Treasure Seekers tour, we will award you with a very special J Club membership card. This is a very exclusive club as, like I said, it's once in a lifetime to find a piece or one of these whole shells. So take a tour with us, take a look at some of these other guests who've been able to find one and join the J Club themselves.
it for today's episode on the rare and elusive Genonia. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to follow all of our daily finds. Happy shelling, everybody, and good luck.